hey guys and welcome back to another video so in this video we'll be looking into how you can create a video model uh, for your application in react so the library which we are going to use in this video is a uh, react model video so as you have seen in my previous videos i've created a, a sign up and login model using an external npm package similarly for this application which uh, for this application uh, we are going to use this package as our third party module so as you can see in front of me uh, this is the official documentation of it it will provide you the steps for uh, installation this is the command and this is the code snippet which they provide as starter code so what is the feature of this uh, package so basically you can uh, use uh, videos from youtube and vimeo within your application you just need to provide id and uh, for platform specific and they have uh, certain parameters for their components like uh, what theme um, which theme you want to show the video and what is the length or height of it and uh, what are the infos regarding it etc similarly for vimeo as well so definitely go through this and uh, let's uh, move on to the application itself so before coming on to this i'd like you to go through the basics of react how you can get started with react and if you haven't seen my videos regarding to regarding uh, getting started with react uh, i will put those in the description below do check that out because i've shown uh, how you can get started with react from scratch by creating applications like to do list or a profile page or a simple form you'll get a better idea from those videos so this is the package which we are using and uh, i'll mention this in the description let's go and see the code so as you can see this is the code this is the entire component which we are going to uh, use and import it in the app.js so initially when you start with react uh, either you can start uh, uh, with a, a self-created uh, uh, environment or you can also use a command npx create react app and your project name like i usually do and uh, within that you can create a folder called component and within that we use this component so usually this is the folder structure uh, when it comes to react when you get a boilerplate code you just create a folder within the source folder called component and within that provide your components and just uh, import it wherever you need uh, in this case it is my app.js and this is the basic uh, folder structure you get when you hit the command npm npx create react app and your project name so this is the folder structure this uh, code will be entirely available in the description you can just hit or you can just uh, git clone the url or download the zip file unzip it or move within your root folder and hit the command npm i it will uh, install all the dependencies required including the react model for videos as you can see this one so you don't need to go through the process of installing this package as well you can just hit npmi and get started so let's go to the code this is the component which we are using and exporting uh, within app.js so as you can see i've uh, exported that app and used uh, via an import over here this is my import and uh, this is a component i've not created a good ui just a simple button and it uh, demonstrate to you how it closes and open what are the states within that and etc so this is the component this are the imports this is the model video package this is how you can import it this is the css file for that uh, specific uh, model structure and this is the react uh, class component import 
So this is your class component. It basically has a state called is open initially. Uh, that uh, state will be false as the model is not open. When you uh, click on open button, which is this one, it will trigger and set a state is open to true. Initially it is false. Once you click it, trigger it, it will set the state to true, right? So now the model is open. Basically, this is the handler which changes the state from false to true. And uh, this is the bind method on on click. And over here, you can see the component itself. What are what are the parameters which we have used? One is channel is open. Basically, it, it will look into is open state, which is false initially and the video ID. So each uh, video on YouTube has an ID and you can just specify that ID and uh, show that specific video for that model. And this is the handler which handles the close button. So if a model is open and if you want to close it, you just need to hit the close mark on the top right and uh, it will set the state again to false. As you can see. The code is pretty uh, self-explanatory and uh, this is uh, pretty much to this component and uh, from where you can get the ID, right? So let's go ahead and hit YouTube and uh, okay, stop. Let's move to one of my videos. Let's move on to my channel and select the video. You can just go ahead and click on share. And as you can see this link, this is the ID of that video. Copy this and uh, paste it over here. Now let's NPM start. So as you can see, this is the boilerplate starter app you, which you get when you uh, hit the command npx create react app and your project name. I've just uh, imported the component which is open as you can see. App.js, this is the component and uh, this is the button open. And let's uh, hit open. So this is the model and this is the video which I specify, specified earlier. You can change as per your convenience and once you click on open, the state will change to true. And once you click this, the state will again change to false. So this is uh, the working of state and changing of state of that component. So this is the basic uh, demonstration of this. You can also use Vimeo videos based on your use case and uh, you can uh, increase the width and uh, size, height, etc. of this uh, video format and yeah, you can experiment with that from these all parameters which, you, uh, which the documentation has already been provided. So this is over here and uh, yeah, this was it for this uh, video guys. Uh, if you have any questions, queries and concerns regarding this, you can comment down below. The code will be available in the description and, uh, uh, and the part which I'm going to cover on this uh, because uh, you can you need to specify the CSS uh, file as well. If you don't specify the CSS file, you won't get a structure like you are show, uh, like you are looking at this because uh, you won't uh, get the suitable CSS components within this. So let me just show you and just remove the CSS and let's see what you get. See. 
the video model will be open but uh, the structure will be very irregular and uh, this uh, will be not good for your application so i recommend you use the uh, inbuilt css provided by them itself so let's just uncomment this let's see the change uh, it's it work, works perfectly yep this was it for this video guys and stay tuned for more and thanks for watching